ransomware. Ransomware has actually been in the news a bit lately. Uh, ransomware, generally speaking, is when you'll get a pop-up warning you that something bad has happened with your computer. Sometimes it might, like I say, use the compromised webcam, have a picture of you and say that you're accused of downloading child pornography and pay us or else. One of the more common ones, which is currently in the news, is something called CryptoLocker. CryptoLocker doesn't bother with the, um, the fake pornography charges. It simply encrypts the data on your computer from you. So you can't read your own data on your computer. Now, it's actually caused when your computer has been infected by malware. And once that data is encrypted and you have to pay to get it released, they'll give you what's called a decryption key to undo the encryption they've done. Now, here's how I would recommend responding to one of these. Now, what'll happen, the way you'll find out is you'll get a big red notice on your screen notifying you like, sorry, your screen is locked, pay us X number of bitcoins, which is an online currency which is extraordinarily difficult to trace, and then we'll give you the decryption key. Well, first off, let's talk about preventing it in the first place. This is where it's so key to keep software as up to date as possible. I'll cover this in a bit more detail in a moment, but basically what it comes down to is if there's any option to automatically update software, set it to automatically update. And there are third party programs which will update other software, which I will cover momentarily. Just a few quick names to throw at you. Secunia, File Hippo, AppFresh for use apples. Now, what do you do if your computer is actually infected? Well, for one thing, when you see that notice, it's not actually fully done yet. There's usually going to be a warning in the notice saying, whatever you do, don't turn off your computer or this will be much worse, you'll lose it forever. Yeah, um, criminals not surprisingly tend to lie about things. What's happening is it's infected your system and it's currently encrypting the files. It's not an instantaneous process. And one thing to keep in mind, if your computer is off, the encryption will not work. So what you want to do the second you get this notice, shut your computer off immediately. Don't put it to sleep, shut it off. And if you can, yank the plug out of the wall and if you have a laptop, pop out the battery. Because if there's no power to this computer, this attempt to encrypt it won't actually function on your computer so more of your files will be saved. Now, another thing just to mention in terms of the prevention, hopefully you have backed up your files because that's how you can get it back very easily. We'll cover more than backing up momentarily, but if your files are backed up, if you're up to date, it's not likely this will work. If it does get onto your system in the first place, like I say, shut it off completely immediately. Then you can use a clean computer, one not infected by this virus, and look online for basically a software tool to clean off this crypto locker infection. A lot of the different security companies have them now. And if you shut off your computer, you'll do what's probably called like a safe mode boot up, which is a way to get into the computer without starting the operating system. That way you'll clean it off and your data will be saved, or at least as much of it as possible. And like I say, backing up is critical to avoid something like this from really making life, well, stinky.